how you're all here then. I have to say, I was expecting at least a couple defects. I'm glad to be proven wrong. It's a good sign. Yes, I'm here. I've been here. In fact, I've been around since you've gotten here. Watching, helping where I could. Make no mistake. Most of you would likely already be dead if it wasn't for my efforts. The captain here has made it very clear your situation. I'm sure you all have questions. To myself, why should I? I'm here, isn't that enough for now? Very well. Happy. I know I'm quite the sight to behold, I'm sure. Being trapped on an alien arena will do that to a person. All of this, the armor, the mask, I've taken it from them, fitted it to myself, so that I could make use of it. If you stick with me, then we can do the same for all of you. What you have now is for now, but there are a few upgrades you'll want to make. Hmm. Well, you'll have to get it the same way I did. You'll have to kill an alien. Fortunately for you, you won't have to do it the hard way like I did by yourself. This group, as ragtag as it is, is your unit now. You will help each other, watch each other's backs. With what I can teach you, together you will be able to hunt them and scavenge from their corpses. Leveling the playing field. You've already chosen to stay. If you change your mind now, then you're a liability to yourself and 
and to the rest of us. One rogue member is all it takes to lead the hunters back to the rest of us and jeopardize the entire mission. I won't allow that. And if any of you want to go home, you won't allow it either. Yes, home. That's the mission. As your captain has already informed you, I have a plan to get us off this planet and back to Earth. But you must be patient. You must be smart. You must work together. It will take all of you to pull it off, and only one of you to fuck it up. You need to be all in, or you are all out. Hold each other accountable or I will do it for you. I have been here a long time. I have been working on this plan for a long time. Together we can iron out the details. But once it is decided, then it is decided. And anyone who puts it or the rest of the crew in jeopardy will be eliminated. But I'm certain none of you would do such a thing, would you? You all want to go home, don't you? At the very least, get off this fucking safari. We will do that by stealing their ship. Yes, it is a simple plan, but it is not an easy one. First, we have to figure out how to fly it. And in order to figure out how to fly it, we have to be able to translate their controls. We have to decipher their language. And in order to read their language, we need more tech to study. In order to get more tech, we need to kill more hunters. Of course, to kill more hunters, we need more weapons. Their weapons. Are you starting to see? Steal the ship, fly it home, simple, but 
it getting to that point. It won't be easy. This is why we need numbers. Why we have to stick together and stick to the goal. Fractured and alone, this will not work. I will do the translations. I have already started with the tech that I have and the observations that I've made. I've been studying been watching. I have a good foundation of understanding of how it works, but I need more, especially if we hope to fly the ship. I will also need to see the inside of a ship before we take off. I am very good at being unnoticed, even by them, but that operation will require a big distraction, one we won't be making until all of you are more experienced and more outfitted for it. Yes, the plan will be to kill one alien at a time until all of you can use their tech. Once we achieve that, then we can move on to bigger operations. The order in which you receive your alien gear will be decided by me. Well, firstly, so you do not fight about it amongst yourselves. Secondly, because I will be the one to teach you to use it. And thirdly, because each of you likely has a specialization I can use to our benefit. I'll outfit you in the order of what is most useful for specific situations. I have seen a lot in my time here hunting methods, tools, tactics. I can play your strengths against them, but in order to do that, I will have to know them. So you will need to get comfortable talking to me, and talking about your past. Me. Well, there are a lot of words for what I am, or what I was. Infiltration. Destabilization. 
annihilation from gangs to governments, spy assassin intelligence, call it what you wish, it all fits, but that's my game. And I'm very good at it. I think you'll find that it will come in handy here. You are all chosen because you have a very specific skill set. Because you are all very specific people. Regardless of what exactly you did, or who you did it for, you all have something in common. You're all killers. The best of them. It's why you were taken. It's why you were chosen. No, it's not a punishment. At least not as far as the hunters are concerned. You're welcome to whatever internal debates you have about fate or divine punishment, but that's not why they chose you. They aren't trying to punish you. In fact, in their own way, they respect you, they recognize you, as some of the strongest among our species. They want to test their own skills against you, use you to train their own skills, becoming better hunters, better killers, I trust you would all like to make them regret it as much as I do. You're right, it's not a fair fight. They're intelligent, they know that. They know their tech is superior. They know it is not a fair fight. And that's important. It's important because it tells us about them. About the way they think. And that can be used against them. Mm, I'd be careful to call them cowards. You don't want to underestimate them. But they're close to it. If you can wrangle their tech away, even the playing field by force, they will still fight you. At least, some of them will. But they don't go into it with even odds. It's intentional. It's either because they want to test their tactics, or because 
because they don't want to take risks. Likely it's both. They try different things on different groups. But they've also got bombs implanted to their main control unit. And they'll set it off if they know they're going to die. Which is why you have to kill them fast. It's a big fucking bomb. You won't likely survive the blast. They fight. Dirty. So will we. It's not personal, individually or planetarily speaking. I don't know how they locate us individually. Figure out who we are or what we do, but they're not just gunning for humans. Other species of aliens, they seem just as confused as we are. So I don't think it's likely they know the hunter. It's best we steer clear of those other aliens. They are all as dangerous amongst their species as we are amongst ours. I have contemplated attempting to communicate, but it isn't worth it. Avoidance is the best road to take. Especially if we successfully avoid them or trick them. Make them think we died to the elements. Which is more than plausible. In the case there's other groups of humans, we will approach them the same way I did you. If we can bring them in, we do. If we can't, we leave them be. It would be best if we can convince them, but we won't waste time or resources we don't have if they won't fall in. It's hard to say when the next drop will be. It doesn't seem to go in any order. Sometimes it's a week apart. Sometimes it's months. Not always in the exact same spot. But usually close enough that you can spot the ship. There's a small compound south of here. That's where they bring in new hunters. It's a camp, a base of sorts. The drops happen within a few days' walk of the base in any direction. Never more than five, usually. 
but I've walked weeks in every direction, and I've yet to find any kind of barrier, physical or otherwise, so it seems like they just choose locations for convenience. Not very sporting, but we've already established that they don't really care about that. But they don't expect their prey to travel too far from these locations. We're currently six days from the base camp. We'll keep traveling in the same direction for a few more, because five days out from their center is prime hunting zone. We want a few days buffer between us and them. I put minimum safe distance 10 days from center, 5 days from the hot zone. We'll keep pushing forward. I have bases established all the way out, going well past 10 days on either side of the hot zone. This is one of them, but we want to go further, because we need more time. You need to learn how to survive the land before we start engaging. The elements can just as easily kill you as they can. You've all barely slept. You've barely eaten. You're dehydrated. We'll push forward to one of my furthest camps. Along the way, we'll scavenge forage, but we have to keep moving. Once we're at my camp, we can rest, recover, hunt. I'll teach you what I've learned of the land, what's safe to eat and how. We can go over everything I've learned about the enemy. We'll practice moving as a unit. Once we've done that, we'll take our first kill, then circle back. Wait. Move in. Kill. Circle back. Wait. Again and again. Until we have a surplus of their weapons. Their tech. It'll be slow going. But it has to be done this way. We don't want them to recognize a pattern. We need to be sporadic, untraceable. When possible, we'll time our kills with new drops. Make them think it wasn't us who did it. We don't want them to know we're coming. 
We don't want them to know how many of us there are, or that we're even still alive. If we kill too many too fast, it's likely they'll send in soldiers or tech that we would have no chance of dealing with. We stay quiet, we stay low, we stay concealed, and we get strong. Only then do we even think about moving to the next stage. With any luck, by then, we may even have more allies, more humans dropped in we can bring into the fold. All right, that's enough for now. I'm sure you all have more questions. There's a lot more to discuss. But there will be more time for that. I'm going to be cloaked, trailing behind the group, making sure our tracks are covered. I've taught the captain how to use the wrist module. It can be used to communicate anything important. The captain will be the liaison between us. But try to keep it to emergencies only. I will not be far behind you, even if you cannot see me. Keep going in the same direction. Don't stop unless you have to, and do not fire your guns unless that bullet is the absolute only thing standing between you and death. Do not shoot. It could draw their attention and will have to change course because there will be no way to know until they're on top of When nightfall hits, I'll check back in. We'll find a place to bunk down, rest in ships. These woods are dangerous, even more so at night. And those hunters aren't the only creatures in it. Do not light any fires. You'll be safe here for a few hours. I'll return or send word when it's time to move again. Get whatever rest you can. It's a long way to the camp. Take shifts. I know we all still don't trust each other, but be smart. Don't make any rash or thoughtless decisions. And remember, 
even if you cannot see me. <laughs>